Good morning, folks. Today we've got a special story that requires a good bit of context and building on what we've seen progress in the peer-reviewed journals. It ends fortifying the second solar micronova trigger. Let's start with our star at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last 24 hours on the sun were a bit jittery. The plasma filaments are growing and the coronal holes are encroaching equatorial latitudes and the sunspots want to come back and there is so not enough room for everyone. It's the interactions between the sunspots, the sunspots and the filaments, both with the IMF from the coronal hole boundaries, and this is what triggers all of the fun stuff on the sun. Those interactions, this is a key concept of today's show. But a quick look at the solar wind and geomagnetic conditions. Bottom right, red bar was the geomagnetic storm we reported yesterday. Top left, we see that the solar wind stream has plateaued if not begun to come back down a bit, which has allowed the calmer geomagnetic conditions to take over. Folks, every year they have a different twist on this story, and I'm happy to share it every time. For some with depression who also lack contact with nature and know the atmosphere doesn't count, the introduction of nature can ease symptoms, provide relief from anxiety and stress, and can help stave off those conditions. This year it was trees in urban areas, respectful golf clap. Some quick notes on Roman, the satellite set to hunt for the missing mass inside our galaxy. While machos, massive compact halo objects, are not the final answer to dark matter, they're a big one at the galactic dynamics level, and it's going to find so many rogue planets and brown dwarfs and hot Jupiters that we're going to wonder how we ever thought space was so empty. It happens with every tech upgrade, and will happen with this one as well. Up next, pretty cool article on galactic collisions. In another nod to the contradiction between cosmological theory and observational reality, something they believe would activate galactic nuclei sometimes does the exact opposite. Ancillary hypotheses and conclusions in the article notwithstanding, it's another shocker for the scientists. Nice to see at least some things haven't changed. Okay, back to that interaction I mentioned. It's pretty remarkable. Nearly everything cool that happens at the stellar level involves some kind of interaction. We've seen it with pulsars, X-ray binaries, transient brightenings, supernova, classical nova, dwarf nova, rapidly recurrent nova, and we get an explanation for most that it's feeding material from one star down onto the other, and that's what triggers the specific reaction. Sometimes it's little more than a super flare or those small brightness changes. Sometimes it's big. The second and more intriguing hypothesis involves interactions and plasma turbulence that interferes with the magnetic processes of the star. And this is where we come to the sun, because the latest on the magnetic waves in the corona is a big one. The coronal chemistry is based on these magnetic waves. The density, the elemental composition, and something like that being tied to the magnetic processes of our star is the finish line for that second hypothesis. As they discover, the correct galactic magnetic structure is merely the same poloidal to toroidal magnetic structure of the solar system and most other stars and even planets with magnetic fields and all sphere magnets actually, it begs us to ask what happens when we cross the galactic current sheet. This is where the galactic magnetic reversal actually occurs, not at the galactic plane, and while the sun crosses the galactic plane on the millions of years scale, this sheet crossing and actual galactic reversal are far more frequent. You see, Earth crosses the sun's equator twice each year, but the sun's current sheet hits us weekly. The sun's sheet delivers an electromagnetic disruption to our global field and induces current in the atmosphere and the ground. The galaxy does this to the sun. While dumping dust and gas into the system, which has been attracted to the sheet like a Swiffer duster in space. And so while we're getting a wave of dust and gas, we are also taking the galactic magnetic reversal, which may change the chemical composition of the upper corona, even if only for a little while. The scalability says the galactic sheet should hit the sun on the thousands to tens of thousands of years range. The isotopes and magnetic excursion evidence on Earth say that we're getting it about every 12,000 years. We are due again now. Earth is showing all of the signs of another magnetic excursion. And in our Cosmic Disaster playlist, you can learn how the other planets are changing, like Earth is, and the nearby stars are activating. We may have learned a big reason why today with those magnetic waves. Folks at ObserverRanch.com, 
We have our first deadlines coming up for the February 9th visit date to the ranch that will sneak up quick and our process does take a few days. The first lottery for the units is the 14th of February. You guys have been so amazing in helping making it happen the last few days. For those getting on the founders list, we do plan to update this about once a week. Thank you to our Micronova donor levels and we had our first new shout out donor reward yesterday. Thank you D Stone for choosing that reward and for helping Observer Ranch. He is very modest and needed some arm twisting just to let me thank him at all, but you can feel free to make it your name, your business, your website, or other appropriate shout out. That's at ObserverRanch.com. For new visitors to the channel who had no idea what I was talking about with the sun a minute ago, either on my channel homepage or on SuspiciousObservers.org, find the Cosmic Disaster movie or playlist and just sit back. We greatly appreciate your support. Pre-orders of our next book. They tell us it's coming to us in about two to three weeks and we are very ready to ship on pins and needles. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.